Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back again to another video. In my recent video, I showed you a step-by-step -step approach in installing Mac OS onto your virtual machine. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a password recovery for your Mac OS. So in case you've forgotten your password or you don't remember your password, you can use the recovery to log on and do a password reset in no time. But before we dive in, if you are new to the channel, this is Sakes InfoTech where we always simplify tech for you. Please don't forget to support the channel by smashing on the subscribe button, liking the video, and turning on the bell notification for more tech tips. I really appreciate your support. Now let's get started. So to create a password recovery key for your Mac OS, you need to watch this video to the end. So that I don't miss any of the steps, okay? So let me open my virtual machine, which I have my Mac OS installed, okay? And also, if you've not yet watched the tutorial on how to install Mac OS in a virtual machine, you can quickly go and watch that, and then you can follow this video. Or if you have a Mac book, you can still follow this video. So to create the recovery, you have to click on the system preferences. And then you click on security and privacy. Okay, so at the general, at the general, you can change your password or your default password you set during the installation. Okay, you can change the password from here. And you can change the minutes to which the system goes to sleep. Okay, so with regards to this tutorial, we are going with a power vault. Okay, so I'll click on the file vault and file vault secures the data on your desk by encrypting its content automatically. So you will need your login password or a recovery key to access your data. A recovery key is automatically generated as part of this setup. If you forgot both, pass, put, put your password and your recovery key, the data will be lost. So we have to turn the file vault on but to do that you first have to unlock the file lock before you can turn it on okay so i'll quickly type my password then i'll click on unlock so now i can turn on file vault okay so let me click on that So here you see your iCloud account can be used to unlock your text and reset your password if you for, forget it. Okay, so you can set an iCloud account to reset your password. Otherwise, you can set a recovery key, you can create a recovery key and do not use an iCloud. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we will click on the create a recovery key and then we click on continue. Okay, so let me quickly save this recovery key. Because we are going to use this for demonstration okay okay so i'll click on continue and then it will start to encrypt the drive so with the drive encryption it's going to take a bit of a time so you have to be patient for it okay depending on the drive size you have to be patient okay so let's wait for it whilst it starts encrypting the drive So you see, file vault is turned on for the next Mac OS. A recovery key has been set. So you see, it's encrypting the drive. Okay. It wouldn't take much time though, but you have to wait for it. You have to be patient and wait for it. So when you set the recovery key, you can use it to um, reset the password. So you log into the recovery and then you get access to reset the password. Okay. Please, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to smash on the subscribe button, like the video, and turn on the bell notification so that anytime we drop a video like this, this person to watch, okay? So it's encrypting the drive. Let's wait for it.
okay so it has finished encrypting so let me close the file vault and then we'll do a restart of the mac os and then we demonstrate how to use it okay so let me close the virtual machine itself let me power off the virtual machine and then i'll turn it on again okay So I'll click on power on this virtual machine. And then we are powering on the Mac OS. So supposing you've entered the wrong password and you don't remember the password and you click on this, you see it's not going through. So we'll click on this question mark and then it will give us the password hint and also the recovery key, okay? So I'll click on this arrow and then I'll type the recovery key I've saved. So let me quickly type the recovery key ID I've saved and then we proceed. So A D X K L C V B P V 3 W G P three seven W eight seven Z L seven Z F. Okay, so I'll click on the arrow here and let's see what happens. So it's powering on the machine and then it will give us the access to do a password reset and also if you are using the macbook you can use the command um the command key and then r okay to boot to the recovery mode and then you use the recovery key when you restart the mac okay so it's powering on with the recovery key so let's wait for it So you need to create a recovery key for your password okay for your mac os so should in case you forgot the password or you don't remember the password now quickly use the recovery key to log in and then do a reset it's very quick and it's convenient so you see it's giving us the access to type in a new password so let me type in a new password and then we proceed, okay? And then I'll type a password int and say, okay, so um, no, let's do this. Um, okay, let me do SCR. Then I'll click on reset. So let's see what happens. So it's resetting the password, okay? So with regards to Windows 11 and Windows 10, you can create a password reset disk. But with Mac OS, you can create um, a password recovery key. Okay. You shut down your PC. Okay, open. So you see, I've been able to do a password reset. So let me one more time restart the um, VM and then I'll use a new password to log in, okay? So let me close the Mac OS again. 
let me power off the virtual machine and then i'll turn it on again and now use the new password to log in to demonstrate that the password has been changed okay So please, if you find value in this video, please support the channel by smashing on the subscribe button, liking the video, and turning on the bell notification for more tech tips. So I'm logging on with my new password, okay? So you see, I've been able to log in with my new password and it was successful so you can create a password reset dex in no time okay to recover your password when you don't remember remember the password so this brings us to the end of the tutorial please support the channel by smashing on the subscribe button liking the video and turning on the bell notification for more tech tips i really appreciate your support thank you for watching and bye bye